We have been emphasized this importance of unity. And we hear people talk, and I know brothers and sisters, most of you, most of you sitting here today, you are sick and tired of disunity. You're sick and tired of the di different jamaats and the different hizbs and the different parties and the different groups bickering and arguing amongst each other about things that you perceive to be petty and insignificant. The people are divided along the lines of tribe, along the lines of color, along the lines of language. Even more absurd and even more ridiculous. It's insane. I think we Muslims are in a collective state of psychosis because we're proud to belong to a country that was a map drawn by the non-Muslims 40, 50 years ago. How insane is that? Zindabad, Pakistan. Zindabad, Pakistan. Pakistan is a country that was put there by the British. Maps drawn on the line, Egypt, Libya, Tunisia, Morocco, lines drawn on maps by the French, by the Italians, by the British, dividing us up into nations. And now we are screaming, rallying behind some flag that didn't even exist a hundred years ago, ready to fight for it and die for it. This is madness. This is sickness. This is something so far removed from what Allah revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. It's nothing but his beer. It's nothing but another form of tribalism about which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said, whoever calls for asabiyah, whoever calls for tribalism, and whoever fights for Asabiya, for tribalism, then they call and they fight and they die the death of Jahiliya. Yet these are the lines upon which we are divided. Nationalistic lines, tribalistic lines, sectarian lines. Yet Allah warned us in the Quran, many times in the Quran, about the danger of dividing into sects and groups. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as for those people who divide their deen into sects, you have nothing to do with them in the least. Their reckoning is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in the Quran, Allah likened those people who divide the religion into sects and into groups. He likened them to the mushriks. And indeed, it is one of the quality and the sifat and the attributes of disbelievers.